CataractCoach.com, this dark spot is a critical warning sign. If you see this, it's going to be tough. This is a great teaching video. I want to thank the anonymous surgeon who sent in this video. It's very instructive. We can all learn from it. We see that the anterior capsule has been stained with tripan blue dye. A round capsule rex has been completed. This is a pretty much a white cataract. Probably relatively soft. You can see the patient's eyelashes are all black. So this is a younger patient. I like the scleral tunnel. It avoids what looks like a prior penetrating keratoplasty or PKP. Facial probes going here probably with the left hand. And then the right hand looks like the chopper instrument, Nagahara style chopper. So perhaps a left handed surgeon. So this nucleus is going to be pretty soft. Probably not a lot of uh, dense material here. You're going to be very careful in aspirating this because this soft lens material will suck out very quickly and you can inadvertently hit the capsular bag. So vacuuming here, not really much coming out just some soft stuff you can see the chopper goes right through it so it's relatively soft material a little more vacuum there and then being very careful remember this lens is soft and a vacuum there and that's the warning sign in all likelihood the capsule bag is now broken that hole is a hole in the posterior capsule remember this lens material is soft very soft and by using this higher vacuum setting, the Faku Pro went right through the lens material and nailed the posterior capsule. That dark spot is a huge warning. Oh, now it's even bigger. Now we can tell the capsule is certainly wide open. The priority now has to be getting this lens material out of the capsule bag. Maybe inject some viscoelastic in that hole. Oh, now it's a very big posterior capsule opening. Trying to get all this lens material out. And it's in the present there, you were losing pieces left and right. So lots of pieces are going back into the vitreous cavity. So at this point, really, we want to get the phaco probe stabilized. We want to use viscoelastic through the side port incisions. You got to be careful. Oh, we don't want to come out of the eye because coming out of the eye is going to cause vitreous prolapse. So now I've got the bimanual anterior vitrectomy set up. And going to take out whatever material is still in the anterior segment. Undoubtedly, lens of material has fallen back in the vitreous cavity. That's okay. Complications do happen. This patient can have a pars plana vitrectomy, pars plana lensectomy to get that out. Do not go fishing back there trying to get these pieces from the vitreous cavity. Let it go. Leave it alone. Let's just do a good job cleaning up the anterior segment. So I do applaud the surgeon for that. That's a good move. Nice conservative approach. So now cleaning out as best we can all the material from the anterior segment. So we've already talked about in previous lectures how to do anterior vitrectomy, how to differentiate between the two different settings of IA cut versus anterior vitrectomy. And certainly in this situation, we're trying to remove prolapse vitreous. We want the anterior vitrectomy mode. So probably a very high cut rate at least a few thousand cuts a minute, and then relatively modest on the flow, and uh, a moderate degree of vacuum as well. In the anterior vitrectomy mode, remember, we don't engage vacuum until after the cutter is already moving back and forth. So switching hands, that's a good maneuver here as well. So I like the idea that uh, let's just clean up the anterior segment. You can see there's certainly a white reflex. We won't worry about it. Here comes the lens. Looks like a three-piece acrylic lens yeah it looks like a three piece acrylic lens being placed here in the anterior segment and that'll be in all likelihood dialed into position that trailing haptic needs to be flipped over remember the orientation the first haptic the leading one should look like a number seven the trailing one should look like a letter j just like that excellent and so now it's time to get that lens positioned so if you are going to send this patient to your vitreoretinal colleague for a pars plana vitrectomy, pars plana lensectomy, definitely clean up the anterior segment. Don't leave any lens material there. Definitely put in a lens like this. If you have the support for a sulcus lens, get that sulcus lens in here. That looks great. And now it looks like even optic capture. This is even better. This is a very good long-term stable solution. You see the shape of the 
caps rex is now rhomboid the haptics are in the sulcus above the capsule rim the optic has been placed like a button through a buttonhole through the capsule rexus and so it's behind the anterior lens capsules so this is the optic capture technique beautiful result and will have a very nice long-term effect you can see it again very nice i do applaud that that's a good move that is very nice that positioning and you can see it even extra well with that white reflex i have no doubt this patient's going to have a nice outcome yes it'll take another procedure a vitreoretinal procedure to remove the lens material from the vitreous cavity but that's okay i applaud the surgeon here for doing a good job and here at the end placing a suture in the incisions too this patient's going to have a nice result you can see the pupils round enter segment is free from any vitreous so thank you for submitting this video and I trust that you've learned a lot.